How's it going everybody? This is Sketch Monkey here with a completely brand new sketching video for you. And I just wanted to sketch some, uh, some, just doodle some stuff, just get ready for Monday. Uh, so I just picked up the big pen and just sketched the car and that's what I want to share with you in this video. But there is also something really exciting that I want to talk to you about in this video. So let's jump in. Now before we get into the sketching part, just make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you get notified when new videos are uploaded every single week. You know, sometimes you just have to pick up the pen, make yourself a cup of coffee and just doodle some stuff. Especially if you haven't been doodle uh, sketching for a few days. I just want to get back into it and this was kind of what happening here. I had this, I fi actually found this old... Uh, old sheet of paper as usual yeah I, I use a lot of old sheet of papers um, with the sketch on it on the top here so I th it didn't look like this when when I found it so I just decided to try and uh, clean it up a little bit and by that I mean add contrast and line weight and stuff like that just to make it look uh, nicer and, and cooler basically and then I uh, you know I still had a half a paper at the bottom so I decided to uh, just go and make a side view, try to make the car that's on top and try to make something similar in side view. So that's what I did and it felt really good. I had my coffee, had my big pen and just went on and doodled some stuff. Now, the thing I want to talk to you about in this video, it's uh, super exciting. I can't really wait to get started building this stuff, but I'm planning on creating a uh, my own teachable Academy, so I'm gonna call it the sketch Academy and it's gonna be all online the, the thing is I get questions every every day uh, From students all over the world design students and people who just like to sketch in general About perspective sketching car design different types of vehicles how to sketch those in different types of perspective uh, marker sketching blending techniques what brands are the best value and what other tools to use. I also get a lot of portfolio questions, which is totally understandable if you're a student right now and you maybe you're trying to get into uh, car design school or a master's like I did and you want to know what what should you how should you build up your portfolio? What should you put in there? I had no idea what what what, what they wanted to see until I actually got there and got feedback on everything. Uh, and also how to approach companies and respond to job listings and stuff like that. Really uh, important stuff if you're looking to work as a designer. So not just the sketching techniques part of the uh, the whole thing, but also the kind of like the mental side of it. How should you prepare yourself and what what to expect, especially what to expect them and what to, you know, when you get no's, what to do when you get a bunch of no's in a row. Uh, like, how do you handle that and what what's the next step to go? So I want to create, I want to build this school online, the Sketch Academy, for anybody who wants to dive deeper into sketching and uh, all these questions that, uh, that I just mentioned and want to learn more about that. I don't have time to do that on YouTube. YouTube is kind of, for me, it's more of a hobby, uh, just sketching for fun, not really uh, diving really deep into a specific subject. So I want to create small classes on each subject that you tell me that you want to learn more about. So it's all about you. It's all about what you want to learn. And that's where I need your help because I'm not going to, I'm not going to spend a lot of time building something uh, like this if there is no interest for it. So I want to ask you, do you think this is a great idea or a cool idea that you want to join? And it's going to be paid because it's going to require a lot of my time. So you're going to be able to choose if you want to do a membership. If you pay monthly, you get instant access to all the updates. And I also want to do a live weekly or maybe monthly uh, kind of like a webinar, a live video where we sketch together, we chat about what's up in your life, what you need help with, and you can ask me questions live. I go live every week on a specific time that we all agree on. And uh, I just want to create a community where I can help you the best in the best possible way, not just through, you know, throwing out YouTube videos. These are great for 
beginners and if you're just starting out. But if you want to dig deeper, it's going to require more effort and more time. And that's exactly what I'm planning on giving to you if there is interest. So my question to you is, first of all, do you think this sounds like a good idea? Should I create something like this? Would you be interested in joining? So it's, so it's going to be a membership or you can pay for each class or course separately if you want to do that if you just if you're just interested in one or two courses that's also a question i get about analog designer pro pack it's that it's a bundle and not everybody wants everything that's in the bundle and that's totally understandable and another problem with that is i can't add paypal to it so i get emails from people saying that they only have paypal available in their country for example so they can't join and the software that I'm using to create the membership there don't allow PayPal. So that's a big problem. And this new platform allows any allows both PayPal and any a lot of different uh, payment methods. So that's going to help a lot for people who live in countries where only PayPal is available. So that's about it, guys. Let me know what you think about this whole project of mine, if it's worth my time or not. Your response is basically going to determine whether or not I'm going to build this. So please make sure you leave your comments below and let me know what you think. And now back to this doodle that we're doing right now. I'm going to try and finish it and probably uh, yeah, I did actually put some effort into the wheels this time. I actually spent more time than usual on these wheels because I don't know, the rest of the car was so clean. The lines looked nice. I didn't want to just throw in some wheels there. So I made, made, made a bit of a design to the, to the spokes here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. I'm the Sketch Monkey and don't forget to sketch at least once a day. Just pick up the pen and make a doodle or something. You're, you're going to thank yourself for it once you're done with it. All right, I'm going to stop talking now. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you next time.